So uh, uh, folks that are just newly married, if you could give them a couple of things to, you know, remember. Like, you probably don't do many, much premarital counseling anymore, I don't imagine. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, yeah, You're yeah. right. <laughs> I used to, but I don't anymore. <laughs> but uh, what are like, you know, three or four things you would just say to them, like, hey, remember this and hold on to this? Or, um, You know, humility is a big deal in any relationship. You know, it's not having to be right goes a long ways in valuing a person that you actually value a person more than your opinion. Hmm. And that helps a lot. Uh, I, I give an illustration It's kind of a violent one, but it gets the point across. <laughs> I have a friend. I can't wait to hear it now. Yeah, I know. Well, <laughs> and it's about got, newlyweds. I, yeah, a <laughs> guy was shot. How does that help? <laughs> I have a friend who was deer hunting, and he saw this deer, and he pulled his gun up to shoot, and he shot the deer, but as he shot, he noticed a hunter on the other side of the deer who was also shooting the deer. Hmm. As it turned out, he shot the deer, the other hunter shot him. He obviously lived, because he lived wow. to tell me the story. Yeah. And any time any couple married couple faces a problem and they're not standing together, they have the chance of shooting each other. Mm -hmm. And so I, I try to get them to isolate the problem as separate, in other words, she's not the problem, he's not the problem. Yeah. You've got a financial issue, it brings a lot of tension. Isolate it separate from the two of you and then together begin to address it. Mm. And that seems to help, it, it helps me in my thinking. How can yeah. we address the situation? Yeah. So yeah. how can I fix yeah. you? Yeah. In, in the... Exactly, yeah. yeah, yeah. My goal isn't to change you. My goal is we've got this added pressure in our life. It's our neighbor, it's our finances, it's our relative, it's the in-laws, it's you know whatever it might be yeah. In, yeah. in everyday homes. And so together, let's just see if we can, we can just acknowledge it and face it together and give each other help and wisdom. Mm -hmm. So humility would be one of the ways that you would advise newlyweds, or, or I'm sure it works all throughout marriage. Totally. Actually, I know it does, because I, yes. I live that way. Yes. But the, uh, <laughs> what else would you, would you say to folks at well, starting out? The, you know, the main thing is, is passionate, practical love for God. Mm. I mean, it, it, really, it really does, you know. If I love God with all of my heart, there's more love to love my wife with than if I make her number one. Mm -hmm. If I make her number one, it puts her in a in a in an ugly position she she can't fill. Yeah. But if I yeah. if I really give myself to honor the Lord, then what I'm going to do is I'm my decisions are really going to be for her according to what God values. Mm -hmm. And you know that's that's what every wife wants anyway. Yeah. That's what every husband wants anyway. Is they want they want they want to be valued authentically for who they are, not just for what I can make you to become. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and so that just goes a long way when there's that kind of celebration in life. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, so I, th I think just loving, loving God well in a practical way, where it affects the way I think about people, yes. the way I celebrate people, the way I look to invest in people. You know, the, you know, the men are, have historically been quick to point out wives be subject to their husbands and they forget that they've got the heavy mandate and that's loving like Jesus loved the church and he ended up dying because of his love. Yes. So that sets a pretty high standard. Yeah. And it's not hard for wives to take their place when they've got a husband who dies for them, you know, on a daily basis. And that's really, it's, it has to become practical. It can't be this theory. It can't be just a point of doctrine. It's gotta be, this is the way I live life. Yeah. I live life with you in mind mm -hmm. uh, for your benefit, for your, for your welfare, for what you think is valuable, not what I think is valuable for you. Yeah, yeah. And so I, 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 think that's, I think that's helpful and I think it's practical. And then you said um, uh, it's not hard for wives to take their place. By that you mean it's not hard for them to have a stance of respect and um, mutual respect or? <laughs> you know, there's a lot of resistance to any kind of influence, even in homes, Christian homes sometimes, of a man influencing the wife because she wants to be this independent person. Mm -hmm. You know, they're better as a team. Mm -hmm. And there is a role, there is a, there is a way it works. Mm -hmm. And if, if the husband is laying his life down on a daily basis with affection and care and concern for that person, investing in them so that they can become everything, Man, a woman would be crazy to not to yeah. not be attracted to that because yeah. that's it's you know it's it's the old story of the of the husband that gave his his wife a list of what he expected from her, and she tried the whole marriage and she could never fulfill the list 
It was just mm -hmm. continuously frustrating. Years go by, he dies, she gets remarried, and she finds this list with this new husband who treats her like a queen. And as she reads through the list, she finds that she's doing everything on the list wow. because of love that she couldn't do out of law. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's, a, great, it's yeah. a great illustration of how this thing works. Yeah. You know, just love well, it really is what it comes down to. Love well, let it be sacrificial, let it be measurable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah let, let it be humble. Yeah. And um, yeah, that's true. Yeah, attack life together. Yep. Yeah.